Hey guys, these are timeless on the messages. So if these messages resonate with you guys, hit that like button, like, share, subscribe, you guys. So I'm going to pull from the meditation messages first. Okay. So I'm getting somebody is like trying to hijack a person, place, or thing. And force a person, place, or thing to get to go in a different direction for their own benefit or person person or their, their own benefit or purpose okay so yeah i feel like somebody is trying to basically manipulate they're trying to get in somebody's energy or they're trying to hijack somebody here to basically fuel them with manipulation for them to just do something else or go a different direction here okay this could be a father figure or a father here okay somebody could be a hooker okay so a father is a hooker or so a father figure is trying to get somebody a, a hooker to go in another direction or somebody is trying to pers or a hooker is trying to persuade a father figure to go a different direction first love okay somebody it could be a hooker that is trying to manipulate a father figure about their first love aries mercury here libra north no here somebody got libra north no here okay aries mercury so this is somebody who is trying to fuck up somebody's thinking pattern here because mercury is about uh thinking patterns communication so somebody is trying to manipulate somebody you're communicating with this person this could be an aries or a libra here Angel number 1010 10 here. It's like somebody is trying to fuck up somebody's awakening or something here. Awakening, enlightenment, and unconditional love, abundance, something fresh or something new. So somebody know that they have, somebody has an awakening about some type of unconditional love, um, some type of abundance that they have, or they have an awakening about something new or something fresh here. And there's a hooker here. Um that basically is trying to persuade somebody something else they're trying to make them go a different direction here after they already had an awakening here so there's a father figure here that has been awakened about somebody about their first love they're in love with somebody here and there's a hooker here that is trying to hijack somebody here for their own benefit and purpose here Okay, so somebody is trying to corrupt somebody's new opportunity or new beginning here. Okay, and I feel like this may have been somebody who could have possibly been manipulating for some time. Or they may have been doing magic is what I'm getting here. Word magic or something here. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody from their past. This is also about somebody's about a father figure's first love. Somebody from their past here. King of Wands in reverse here. Eight of Wands in reverse here. So somebody from somebody past is like abusing their power, possibly with a King of Wands in reverse. So this is a King of Wands in reverse energy here. So I'm strongly getting like. Somebody wants a reunion with a King of Wands in reverse here, but there's some type of delay or there is some type of mischance here or there's some type of um there's some type of lack of action or they're not getting the right communication or they're not progressing here. I'm also getting that hijacking energy. Somebody is trying to hijack somebody to block them is what I'm getting here. And it could be either a, it could be a Cancer, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. They're trying to block somebody here, literally eight of cups and eight of, eight of, I'm about to say all the, all the cups. Eight of wands in reverse here, three of wands. They're trying to block somebody from moving forward. They want somebody to be in an indecision about something that they're interested or focused on. That's a big opportunity for them. They're trying to procrastinate somebody here. They're trying to make somebody make an irresponsible decision here. It, it, whoever this um, king of wands in reverse is, they may be somebody who's very impatient about whatever this is as well. If this is this person that's trying to stop somebody 
or somebody is trying to stop this person either way somebody is becoming impatient anyway here whatever this is because something either is not working or, or holding somebody back is not working or holding something back is not working here so take this how it resonate here somebody wants somebody to kind of like they don't want somebody to be ambitious or they don't want somebody to be realistic about their decisions here. They don't want somebody to have common sense. They want to stall somebody here. I'm strongly getting like it's a hooker. Yeah, it's a third party. So this hooker is trying to stall somebody here. This definitely could be like some type of prostitute or something here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting this energy where this person know that they're not able to get like a, a something from an extent here because of some type of unconditional love that somebody had for somebody else here for their first love. So they're going to try to just stall this person. I don't think they actually can block this person, but they they feel like they can stall them through manipulation, word manip manipulation or thinking pattern. This, this, whoever this hooker is, they're really trying to get somebody to look at things at another perspective. It's a dark perspective. It's the wrong perspective. So this person, whoever this hooker is, they're lying to this person. Profusely. Okay. Emperor. High Priestess, Ace of Coins in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Cups. There you go right there. The Fool in Reverse and the Three of Swords here. So this is definitely a third party here that's dis that's distracting somebody here. But it really is breaking somebody else's heart or it's... They're betraying the person who they are trying to distract or they're trying to get to... They're, they're, yeah, they're basically betraying this Emperor energy, this Father energy. This Father energy, First Love is a High Priestess. Literally. And I feel like whoever this high priestess is know about somebody trying to block somebody's opportunity is this Queen of Cups. It's Ursula. So whoever this Ursula energy is, they're trying to block somebody's opportunity. Or they're also blocked their self. They're doing magic. It's, it's um, manipulation or emotional abuse. They're trying to basically fuck up somebody's voice or they're trying to get somebody to look at things in another perspective because one, this Queen of Cups in reverse is probably in love with somebody. They could be in love with an Aries or a Libra here. The thing is, they're in love with somebody who could be in love with their first love that they're trying to block here, literally. So basically, uh, yeah, they're betraying somebody. They're betraying somebody so that person can betray somebody, betray somebody else. This Queen of Cups in reverse, this is not a very loving type of person here. They're probably actually smothering this person here. This is somebody who is very bitter that they know for sure who this father figure is in love with their first love. They have unconditional love for somebody here. That irks them because... They're not getting the love. They're not getting that same energy here. It's the Queen of Cups in reverse. They're not getting the love. And they're insecure about that. They're insecure because they don't have no type of... They may, be, they may be getting karma or something here. Or they're blocked from actual love. They don't either. They don't know what love really is. Or they're always blocked from love. It's something that's inconsistent. Like love is inconsistent for them. And they're probably watching somebody who they're in love with consistently love somebody or have unconditional love for somebody. And they still tried to block it and it still didn't block. You, I keep saying this in readings, you cannot do magic on real love. Now it may be actually delayed or you may actually kind of like separate the two for it, but they're always going to find each other or they're always going to get back with each other. So I'm, I'm getting this energy where as though this person knows that they know that they can't block the love, but they, they, they feel like they can actually kind of like delay or whatever. But these two are together here. I don't know if this is something that's spiritual or this is somebody... 
it don't even have to be like a relationship this could be a, a father figure that is in love with a hot priestess or in love with how this hot priestess um help them in some type of way or give them some type of knowledge or wisdom in some type of way here this could be somebody who see the lies they may help them with some type of lies or affairs in their life here this queen of cups in reverse do not like how this high priestess in reverse is pretty much helping this or stabilizing this father figure is what i'm getting here and that's fucked up itself here because that means that this queen of cups in reverse is actually trying to destroy the the emperor energy the world in reverse and the page of swords in reverse yeah somebody wants to play some type of mind games with somebody to stagnate them but it's actually blocking their success or their achievements this may have been going on for some time here okay um five of swords in reverse this may have been going on for some time here but it's something that's ending here out of love or out of some type of unconditional love here Somebody could be seeing the numbers 1010. 10. Somebody really tried to block somebody from starting something new in their life. There are this emperor energy is already awakened or something here. They may not be showing it here. Because you know the emperor energy, they don't really like showing emotion. They're they're being logical about some type of control over their self here. Because they're it, this is somebody who stabilized their they stabilize their self or they're stabilizing their self here. The truth is here. So something is this corruption here that somebody tried to create here, this Queen of Cups energy tried to create. This is a dark witch, or this is a karmic here. Um it's it's basically it's it's unsuccessful because somebody is using their common sense. That's something that they was trying to block. So somebody's common sense is, oh, they, they're aware. They're taking control. This emperor, they're taking control. They may be freeing themselves because this is actually abuse. Somebody may have been abusing dark magic. Because it's not working here. I feel like somebody is empowered. They're healing here. Okay, they're using their common sense. They have clarity. This is somebody who's realizing the truth. They're making the right decisions or they're going to be making the right decisions here. This could be somebody who is having a breakthrough. This is their awakening here. This is a reality check for somebody here. Yeah, yeah, it could be like jealousy or it could be somebody who is just insecure with their self. But I, this person really is betraying this emperor energy here. Two of Wands in reverse here. Now, this person might be a little held back, whoever this emperor is, they might be a little held back because they may be fearing the unknown here. But at the end of the day, this third party situation or this third party or karmic situation here with somebody, it's not, it's a, it's a, a complete disappointment is what I'm getting here. It's not a success. It's not something to be praising about or something to be confident about. This person... This emperor energy is not confident about whoever this three of cups energy is, or they're not confident being with a third party or celebrating with a third party here. They're staying held back. They're not showing this person any love or any emotions right now. Nine of Wands. You can't destroy how somebody feel about somebody. And if you find out that somebody have unconditional for, love for somebody, you have to discern that. You have to see if you actually can fit in this person's life. And it's looking like this person doesn't or they just did something that was over the top to try to get this person to fall in love with them the way they're in love with somebody else. It's it's somebody contradicted their self. For real, for real. Eight of swords in reverse and the eight of, of pentacles here. Eight, eight could be very significant here. I mean, somebody's, I mean, somebody is, they're common sense here. It's common sense here. Somebody know exactly what they want to do here. It's looking like they may be, somebody may be, uh, either this high priestess is protecting herself or this is somebody who is guarding a high priestess or protecting a high priestess here. This high priestess, they 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 could be cautious or something here. Or I mean, they're intuitive, so they actually know what's going on here. So this is somebody who probably is pretty much protecting their energy here. 
standing up for yourself as well. Because this may have been like an ongoing battle or something here. Like somebody must have, whoever this high priestess is, they may have separated their self from whatever this is. Because this is definitely like some type of dark magic here. Somebody, somebody didn't, they didn't indulge in some type of dark magic here. Because they knew that, they knew what the results was going to be. They're high priestess here. Three of Swords. Empress in reverse and a hangman in reverse here. So whoever this Empress in reverse is, this is this karmic here. Queen of Cups in reverse here. This person is extremely, extremely insecure and very unhappy right now. This is somebody who don't know how to deal with their emotions. They're emotionally immature, overly sensitive, needy, very weak here. Um, they don't know how to handle when negative shit don't go their way. They don't know how to handle their spiteful ways not going and coming into fruition. This is a negative pattern that they have. This is somebody who's very discontent with their self. Um, it, this is somebody who just don't have the love for their self. Like they, they, this, they just ignore, they ignore things that don't qual, they don't qualify for. And I'm sorry if I may be like hurting anybody's feelings or anything, but. I'm pretty much a straight shooter. I can't dismiss it, but I'm, I'm getting this energy where somebody, they overextend their self in situations that they're not qualified for, or they, they try to be something that they're not too much instead of actually being their self. So it kind of like, they, they come off as like a fake ass person here. Ace of coins in reverse and the three of swords here. They break their own heart. They block their self from their own opportunities. Trying to block other people opportunities is not going to help you win. It may delay it, it may delay another person, but it's not going to help you win. Because at the end of the day, there's always somebody watching or there's always somebody who's seeing the truth about who you are. It's amazing that people go through great lengths to try to block somebody from loving somebody else because they want them to love them. You can't force somebody to love you. And that's something that this person probably did not learn. They gave their self too freely to somebody who they who probably showed them time and time again that they didn't love them. They gave too much of their self. And then they wanted it back. They wanted this person to reciprocate that energy back, but it wasn't the same. The love wasn't the same. Magician, so they did magic. And they kept doing it. They kept repetitively doing the magic. Over and over again. They wanted think they wanted to be in control of things. Cherry in reverse and the nine of coins in reverse. They wanted to be in control of things, but they weren't in control at all. They were actually blocked the whole time. But they were really trying to force an aggress in a very aggressive way to force somebody to love them or force a situation or force to block somebody from loving somebody else or force somebody to have clarity it's like they were trying they were basically they were doing magic on a on a father figure on this emperor energy if they thought they was doing magic on this high priestess they was never doing magic on this high priestess they were basically destroying this father figure somebody did not want to acknowledge that they're actually an outsider they wanted to make this high priestess energy feel like an outsider. And I feel like this high priestess energy may have been through this before, maybe with this father figure, or they've already been through this before on several occasions with different type of scenarios here, okay, or different situations here. Judgment in reverse and the Ten of Wands. People always trying to basically go to battle with this high priestess energy because they're authentically their self. Nine of Coins in reverse and the five of wands here so somebody basically was trying to compete they was trying to be somebody's rival um competition or challenge somebody here um be de defensive they wanted to argue they wanted to be on some type of ego trip and it it, it was it, it never happened or they did it for nothing here it was a lack of success here nine of coins in reverse this is somebody who don't have nothing better else to do with their self they don't have nothing going 
on with their self here. They, it, to the point that they didn't want to acknowledge that this was dead on arrival from the very beginning here. Their judgment is off. Four swords in reverse and a judgment in reverse. Now somebody's in regret because really this was a major sacrifice to their ego or a major sacrifice to them here. They delayed their own self by staying stuck in some type of negative mindset here. Being indecisive about their self, so they want somebody else to be indecisive about their decision. They don't want somebody to learn karmic lessons because they can't learn karmic lessons. They can't evolve, so they won't want somebody else to evolve. So they lie, make false accusations, manipulate, make malicious comments to make somebody look at something a different way instead of looking at it at the truth. This person can't stand the truth. They're burdened about truth. It's a major challenge for them to actually see the truth about their self. It's a major challenge for other people to see the truth about them. They struggle with that. So this is somebody who basically take their self for granted. Nine of coins in reverse, two of swords, ten of cups in reverse, and the nine of swords in reverse here. Yeah, the answer is the fuck no here. So now somebody's at a crossroads and they're defensive about this energy because they enter into they this is their this is their own energy. They're very dysfunctional. Somebody is leaving them or they're leaving they have to leave somebody else alone here. Somebody's getting neglected here. This is somebody who blames other people for their actions here. So this could be somebody who's trying to get sympathy or this is going to be somebody who's going to be playing victim here because they're Saudi as shit. The signs that I got in this reading is Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, yeah. The letters that I have in this reading is DMV, AJS, yeah. But this is all I got for you guys. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Again, these are timeless, no the messages. If these messages resonate with you guys, hit that like button, like, share, subscribe, you guys. Also, check out my members only in the description box below or click the join button for exclusive readings. Thank you guys for all the likes, shares, subscribes, and the donations. I truly appreciate you guys and I love you guys. Smooches.